One of the main advantages of using dialogue flow is that you can automatically extract values out of the messages users send and store those values. You might want to use those values to query a database and generate search results in a conversation. If you don't know anything about how to set up or manage a database, but you're familiar with Google Sheets, then BotSheets makes this really easy. This restaurant example is a good use case. I have a restaurant menu added to a Google Sheet and BotSheets will translate the data in these rows into cards. I have a title for each card, a subtitle, a URL for an image, and I can set up to three buttons that I want to appear on the card. Maybe I wanna trigger a URL when a user clicks a button uh, and I can send them to a website. Uh, maybe I wanna trigger another dialog flow intent so I can actually include a training phrase in one of my intents. And when users click the button, it will trigger the intent. Now you might have the same phrase used in multiple intents and those intents are only differentiated by context. So you would probably want to use a dialog flow event, which can be a unique value. And you simply add the value into the target here and then use the same value in a dialog flow intent in the events field. And that would be a unique value. Uh, maybe I want to provide a gallery of multiple locations and each row includes a different address for a different location. And so when users click the button, it will actually take the address and trigger Google Maps with the location on the map. Here I've just set up one button for each card that will target a URL when users click a button. In Dialogflow, I created an entity that will store all of the possible values I want to extract from a message. I've named my entity food, and all of the values are items on the menu, as well as other related values that I might want to use to search my Google Sheet with. I created a dialog flow intent that will get triggered if users express an intent to order food, and I've highlighted certain words to indicate that these words should refer to my list of possible values in my food entity. If the intent is triggered and I can extract a value from the message, then the value will be stored in a parameter down here in the actions and parameters table. I can add a parameter named query and then add a query statement to search the Google Sheet. With this query statement, my dialog flow agent will do a keyword search on column C and use the parameter value extracted from a user's message to search the sheet. You can get really fancy and create complex queries with different search criteria, or you can use the BotSheets Query Builder to quickly create queries. You just input your search criteria into a form and BotSheets will generate a query for you that you can just copy and paste into a dialog flow intent. You can see here that column C in my Google Sheet is a keyword column. I've included all of the values that I have in my dialog flow entity here. So if the user triggers a dialog flow intent with a message of, I wanna order food, and a value can be extracted from that message, then I can use that to search the sheet and generate a gallery of all items on the menu. Maybe the user specifically mentions that they wanna order pizza. And since pizza is a value in my entity, and it's a keyword for some items on the menu in the Google Sheet, I can search the sheet and return just a gallery of pizzas that they may want to order. Now, what if they trigger this intent and I can't extract a value from their message to search with? I know that they want to order, but they didn't give me a value that I can work with. Well, I can add fallback text into the intent as well. I have a parameter for that, and the user will be given a fallback message if the intent is triggered, but no search results are found. Now, the one thing we'll want to do is if we scroll down to the bottom, is we'll want to use dialog flow fulfillment. So all we need to do is check this, and we've enabled a webhook call for this intent. So dialog flow, when this intent is triggered, is going to ignore any of the responses that you have here and it's just going to make an external request. So here's a little trick. I have a default fallback intent. This is the intent that's gonna get triggered when users send a message and their message doesn't match any training phrases in any of my other intents. 
So it's gonna fall back to this intent. And what most dialogue flow users do is they'll just add a simple text response that says, you know, sorry, I didn't understand, or can you rephrase your message, or here are some things I can help you with. And it's not a great customer experience. Well, what I like to do is I'll actually enable fulfillment and make a webhook call when users trigger my fallback intent. And what Botsheets will do is it will take the user's message and it will use keywords in the message to automatically search the Google Sheet. So you can see here, I have a keywords column and if their message doesn't trigger one of my dialogue flow intents, it's gonna hit that fallback and we'll search the sheet and then generate a gallery of possible responses. It's a much better user experience to give the user uh, you know, possible responses and let them pick. That default column is actually defined in the fulfillment settings. So if we jump over here, you can see that it's making a request uh, to the Botsheets API and you can see the link to the Google Sheet is included here. And we have something called a default search column, which we can define. In my case, I've defined column C, which is my uh, keyword column. And it will automatically take the user's message and search the Google Sheet. Now we can try it out. You can see here, I'll just send a really long message that I know I don't have an intent for. And it's going to hit the fallback. Uh, I'm allergic to peanuts and I was wondering if you use this ingredient in your salad dressing, right? So I don't have an intent that's gonna understand that message. Well, let's see what happens. We hit the fallback. And now you can see that we were at least able to give the user some possible responses. In this case, it was a whole bunch of salads and maybe we list out the ingredients in the subtitle here. Uh, and that allows the user to make an informed ordering decision. And salad, which was uh, a keyword in this message here, just happens to be a keyword in my default search column, column C, uh, you can see here. So uh, we're able to make this a more delightful conversational experience because we can fall back to a possible response, even if it's not an exact response. So no code is needed to set up and manage dynamic content like this. You can use dialogue flow entities to, to define the values that you want to search. You can use dialogue flow intents to initiate a search request and you can use Google Sheets as a database for your content.